Hello friends, welcome to Medico's Helpline. Have you ever felt that learning is quite hard and boring? Especially during the previous days of exams, we simply stare at heaps of books on the study table and ends up feeling really exhausted and tired. But trust me guys, today we are going to make it very interesting. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Today, we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic, the uterus. Uterus is a hollow muscular organ situated inside the pelvic cavity in the non-pregnant state. We'll be dealing with the parts, position, weight, relations, blood supply and nerve supply. The uterus is having three parts, body, isthmus and the cervix. The upper part of the uterus, the isthmus, is called as the body and the lower part is called the cervix. The body contains fundus, the dome-shaped upper part of the uterus, uterine cavity and the uterine walls. Uterine cavity is connected to the fallopian tubes on either sides which is in turn connected to the ovaries. Uterine cavity opens into the cervix at the junction of isthmus through the internal os. Also, cervix opens into the vagina through external os. The normal position of the uterus in the human body is antiversion and antiflexion. Antiversion and antiflexion. Antiversion means the long axis of the cervix to the long axis of the vagina. The normal human body is 90 degree. Similarly, the long axis of the body to the long axis of the cervix is 120 degree. This is called as antiflexion. Hence, we can say the normal position of the uterus in the human body is antiversion and antiflexion. <music> The uterus is very small with the total length of 7.5 cm and the total weight averaging from 50 to 80 grams. First let us talk about the anterior relation of the uterus. Anteriorly, above the internal os, the uterus is connected to the posterior wall of uterovesical pouch. Posterior wall of uterovesical pouch pouch. Now below the internal os, the uterus is connected to the base of the bladder, the base of the bladder. Hence anteriorly the uterus is connected to uterovesical pouch and base of the bladder. Now posteriorly behind the uterus it is covered by the peritoneum and forms the anterior wall of the pouch of the Douglas anterior wall of the pouch of the Douglas. Now laterally on either sides of the uterus we have the double folds of the peritoneum of the broad ligament. We have the double folds of peritoneum of the broad ligament. First let us start with the arterial supply. The arterial supply of the uterus is by the uterine artery uterine artery the venous drainage is by the internal iliac vein internal iliac vein coming to the lymphatic drainage the uterus is drained by a group of lymph nodes the first one is the iliac lymph nodes the iliac lymph node which includes both the external and internal iliac lymph nodes the obturator lymph node the paraartic lymph node and the superficial inguinal lymph node the superficial inguinal lymph node 
The nerve supply of the uterus is obtained from the inferior hypogastric plexus. The inferior hypogastric plexus. Hypogastric plexus that is from T10 to L1 supplies the uterus. Here we have come to the end of the video. I am so proud of you guys because you have already revised the basics of the uterus. Remember, the more we know about the uterus, the more we know from where we have come from. In case of any queries or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, share and comment. See you very soon with a new interesting video. Till then, bye bye.